What's good everybody and welcome back to my channel smoking and grilling and today we making a smoked brisket chili and we doing it with me AB. Now listen, I know the whole thing about the smoked chili, you know, I mean the smoked brisket, I know that's gonna get everybody going, right? Now listen, right here, you guys can see, I put a post in my uh, community tab. And after reading all of the comments, you know what I mean, so all of the thumbs up, a lot of people really think this is gonna be like a brisket video, right? So what I'm gonna do is, sometime this week, I'm gonna go ahead and film me doing the brisket and show you guys how I got that. But what I'm doing is, from what you're seeing right now, <laughs> That would be, listen, I'm using some of that brisket inside of this chili. Listen, if you guys got it, any smoked meat, it carries that flavor over into this chili. Hands down, listen, it can't be messed with. Hey, so with that being said, I'm not gonna over talk it. I'm finna show you these ingredients. It's gonna look like a lot, but it's super easy. It's made all in one pot. It's not a whole lot of cook time, and we gonna, you know, go ahead and make it happen. So with that being said, let's look at these ingredients. Okay, now look, these are the ingredients all the way down to look to these cans right here. It's gonna look like a lot, but check it out. It's really like a one pot meal, right? So we're gonna start off, you know, using this. So I'm gonna be using my Dutch oven. You guys can just use a pot, you know, big enough to hold all your ingredients. Now, I'm gonna start off by just showing this. You guys, if you've been following me for a minute, you know that I save all my rendered bacon fat, right? Listen, we're gonna start with this. I'm gonna take a couple of teaspoons of this and put that in here, and that's how we're gonna saute our onions, right? But if you don't, you want to get yourself at least four, you know, four strips of uh, bacon, you know, just go ahead and cut them. And then you go ahead and start with that. And then when it's all over, right before you put the lid on, you just go ahead and add your bacon back. Now, with that being said, you, you guys got it. Let's move on. Bacon fat, you know, or four slices, four slices of bacon. Here, I'm using a red onion. This was just a large red onion. I kind of like did a rough chop. It's not really like a fine dice, but just cut them however you want to cut them, you know, nice, Look here, let me just show you like this. These are like good sizes. It's gonna render down some anyway. Let me just get it up here so you guys can see it. It's gonna render down. So we just call that like a dice. I went ahead and I'm using minced garlic. We got kidney beans. Now look, these kidney beans are drained and these are like 15 ounce cans. So just go ahead and drain them. And then I just put them like this. You can leave them in the can however you're doing them. Don't forget, I do a lot of what you see right now. This is for display purposes and you know, for video. Now this was a 15 ounce of whole, uh, whole corn. Now what I did was I drained these also, but I'm using about, that's probably like 60% of the can, you know? So you can use half. Listen, this, this right here is optional. And let me just say this, the beans are optional too. Reason being, because I know you guys out there in Texas, y'all say it ain't no beans and no chili. Hey, but listen, don't forget about the rest of the world. So listen, I like mine with uh, beans in it, and that's why I got it. Now here we got black beans. Again, this is 15 ounces, right? And they drain. Then I got a red bell pepper, you know what I mean? And look, these are a little bit bigger chunks. Look at this. This right here is fine. You see the size? Let me move that so you can see it. All right, so just like a rough chop. Then we got green chilies. This was like a four ounce can. You can see the liquid in here. I didn't really, I didn't drain this at all. I just dumped this inside of here. Here, we got a tablespoon of cumin. And then here we got three tablespoons of chili powder. Here, we got a half a teaspoon. Listen, this is smoked paprika. You guys gotta get that. If you haven't had it before, once you use this, you probably won't go back to the regular normal version. But I'm gonna say this also, just being honest, you're gonna need both. But sometimes you don't want that smoky uh, flavor in the type of food. But this right here is that, is that ooh wee, right? So smoked paprika. Now, here, I just went ahead. I reheated this up, cause look, I cut it, took it out of my refrigerator, and then I used it and put it in the microwave and it kind of like, you know, changes the color of it. But you can see right here, let's see. I don't know if you can see. Let me get it so you guys can see it. If you look at it, you see the, the red right there? That's the smoke where it penetrated it. Here goes some other pieces. These are toward the end. And these dots that you see right there, you can see it. Look, I just put this on my hand. This is part of the bark. But remember, it's been in the refrigerator. I just went ahead and reheated it up, you know, and we go from there. And I'm gonna just say, now the, the meat is up to you, how meaty you want it to be. This right here and this uh, four cup Pyrex, this is that bright at three cups. I just went ahead and cubed them up and we go like that, right? Now, we got chipotle peppers. Check this out. This right here, I'm glad they sell this in a small can, because listen, when you open this up, you're gonna need a small container, because we only gonna use like a half a tablespoon 
or maybe even a half, a, yeah, probably half a tablespoon of this inside the whole chili. Now, what are we gonna do with the rest, right? And this is four ounces, so you wanna just preserve this because there's a lot of recipes out here that we use this, and then you don't wanna have to just keep opening one and, and throwing it away. And then here, we got diced, look, I always, anything that has di uh, diced tomatoes, I always like to get fire roasted. You can't beat that. Oh, and I wanted to tell you this too. Look, these right here, peppers and adobo sauce, these is fire along with this. This is a cold combination right here, y'all. And then right here, we just got hunch. You know, this is just a hunch tomato sauce. You know, you're gonna get this. This is where we're gonna get our liquid. Don't forget, we, we already drained most of everything, right? So what you're seeing right now, everything is here, and we're gonna use a uh, bottle of beer. Now, because I had these already, I'm just gonna go ahead and use this, this Boston Lager, Samuel Adams. You just wanna get yourself a 12 ounce bottle. So, super simple. And <laughs> what I tell you simple is getting ready to flow like water right now. So, check this out. Let me get set up and we gonna go. Let me get this camera where we can look down in this pot and we finna make it happen. Okay, now I'm set up. Let me go ahead. Now listen, if you don't have rendered bacon fat, you can go ahead and just put four slices, right? Like I said earlier, four slices of butter, excuse me, four slices of bacon inside. But since I do, I'm gonna go ahead and just put like a tablespoon. That's what I'm gonna do. We'll just start with that. You know what I mean? We'll just put this in here like this. Might be a little bit more, but that's fine with me. Go ahead. Now what we're gonna do is we're gonna heat this up, right? Soon as this, you know, heats up and melts, then we're gonna add our, we're gonna start off by adding our onions. Now I'm using a medium high heat. You can see that everything is, uh, all of the grease has uh, melted. So what we wanna do is we're gonna start off by putting our onions in, right? Now we're gonna cook these for about five minutes. Yeah, that should be right. On a medium high heat, we just wanna get them soft, that's all. So we just move these around. We got some grease for it to like, you know, work with. And then I got I forgot to address this also for you guys that do not do the uh, pork, you know, you don't have to use no bacon fat. You can just go ahead and use, you know, vegetable oil or whatever type of oil you would like to use just to get these, you know, softened up. So I'm gonna leave these alone. They got, we got them all coated. Just make sure that everything is touching the bottom and we just gonna get them soft. Now it's been five minutes, they softening up. You can see the color starting to change. Now listen, we started out with the onions. Now we're gonna add our red bell pepper, right? So we'll just add these. Now look, these are only gonna take about a minute. So let's just go ahead and get these coated, moved around, and we're gonna let those work for just, like I said, just about one minute. Now, it's been one minute. Now what we wanna do is we wanna add our minced garlic. And we're gonna give this just a minute. You should be able to smell it. Man, this right here smells. Hey, I'm gonna save it for you guys. I want you guys to let me know when you make this, tell me what this part right here smells like. Now, now we're gonna go ahead and add our brisket. We want it all in there. Once I have it moved around like this, now we're gonna add our dry seasonings. Now when adding your dry ingredients, there's no particular order, right? So what you just saw was just cumin, you know, the chili powder, and then the smoked paprika. And then what you wanna do is you just wanna give it a good thorough mix so everything's integrated, and then you move on. Once you got everything integrated, you know, mixed thoroughly, this is nice. I mean, this is the right amount. Let me just pick it up right here so you guys can see it. This was the right amount of meat. This was perfect. Now we're gonna go ahead and add our beer. Now by adding the beer, look, that's gonna like get, get it, you know, like to a liquid form. It's gonna help it, you know, integrate inside of this meat and it's gonna deglaze the bottom of the uh, pan, your pot. So you can run your spoon. That's why I like to use the square edge of a wooden spoon. And I run this around along the bottom. You can just feel it just glides across. So it's a great deglazer along with, you know, with the onions that we had in there. So you just wanna, then you wanna, look, look this is key. You wanna cook it like this for about, we're gonna let it come back up to temp, cause I just poured some cold beer in here. Once this comes up to temp, 
we're gonna let some of this alcohol, you know, burn off. Now look, you see it come back to a boil, right? So what we're doing is we're cooking some of that alcohol take taste out of here. You're getting that out of out of here. It just cooks it off, evaporates into the atmosphere. Look, now we just stirring it around. And as you stir it, you can smell, you smell just a hint of it right now, but it's a whole lot less than it, you know, less fragrant than it was when you put it in there. So we're gonna now, what we're gonna do is we're gonna add everything else, right? So I'm gonna go ahead and start with my diced onions. Excuse me. I'm gonna go ahead and start with my, my diced tomatoes. Now we add in our tomato sauce. And really, listen, there is no particular order that the, you know, the rest of your ingredients go in here. All you have to do is just get them in the pot. You know what, we just want to get them in the pot, bring it up to temp, and make sure that it's mixed properly. And then right there, you know, you can see the kidney beans. Now listen, if you're putting in corn, now you can look at it and decide if you want to add more, more corn. Remember, we only use half a can. Now you want to give it a real good mix. And then what you want to do is you want to raise your temperature because you want to bring it back to a boil. You reduce it down to a simmer, put your lid on and set a timer for two hours. Now, this is what it looks like after two hours. You can see it just needs to be stirred up. And when you do, you can see how much liquid is in there, right? But the more you stir it and you leave the top off, it starts to uh, thicken up. And that right there, look at that. You can see the chunks of that, you know, that, uh, that smoked brisket. And you want to talk about tender. That's it right there. Now. When you get ready to put it in a bowl, look, I went ahead and grated myself some cheese and I did, I chopped up some green onions and I'm using just the green onion tops. And of course, I'm gonna put it in a bowl. So only thing left to do now is just to go ahead and put it in a bowl. So I'm gonna go ahead, get my ladle. So you guys can just check this out right here. You wanna talk about fire, this is it. Let's do it this way. Look at those chunks of that brisket. And as you guys can see, you pick a brisket just with every ladle, you know? Now we're gonna go ahead. Look, I'm gonna go ahead and just add just a little bit of cheese to it. You know what I mean? Cause we're gonna put that right on top, right? Cause we're gonna want this right here to, uh, to like melt. So we'll just put a little cheese, sort of like this here. Then we go ahead and give it a little bit of this sour cream. Then we're gonna put, sprinkle a little bit of this green onion top on here and there you have it folks look at that hey the presentation is nice on this i can't say enough about it hey you know what i can say let's eat some hey so only thing left to do now is like you know really like get us a bite right so check it out i'm gonna hold it up here it is one more time you guys can see it let me put something around this because listen it is hot I'm gonna tell you this, you guys, you know how I normally say, hey, we gonna taste it. This right here is just, it's proven. So look, I'm gonna go ahead and hit it. You wanna talk about something outstanding? This is it. If you ever, it's, I guess it's like, are you lucky or unlucky? But if you got some brisket, you know, leftover, put it in this chili right here. And listen, I can tell you right now, I'm gonna keep on hurry, you know, keep on talking, cause it got like a smooth little kick to it. And it's got a nice, you know, a nice little heat. So for those of you guys that like it, you know what I mean? Let me know down in the comment section below. If you try this, do it the exact same way that I showed you just right here. And this right here is gonna be real smooth. Now, if I move off to the side, you can see, I got my muffins, they cooling right now. But other than that, I want you guys to just go ahead, make this. Let me know what you think down in the comment section below. And with that being said, listen, if you're new to my channel, don't forget to like this video and subscribe and tell everybody out there, there's a channel out here that's simplifying these recipes and taking the mystery out of cooking. So with that being said, I got some brisket chili to eat and I'm out of here. Peace.